What is going on legend? It is Angus and a massive welcome back to the channel. Super stoked you're here and to be bringing you this video. This is going to be uh, the very first of a series of installments later on. So uh, if you would have watched my last video um, in terms of the last one that I released on the channel, it was me touching on basically all insights into how my comp went, how the photo shoot went. Um, you know, my goals with the channel moving forward, my goals with my life in general and all that sort of good stuff that was in the last video So if you haven't seen that go check it out But um, yeah, obviously in that one I unleashed that I'm going to be running a, a series called Cheat Yourself um, And what I'm also going to be doing is um, another series called Bar Gains Haul Right, so in other words basically where I unpackage and show you the sort of shit that I buy from the shops um, stuff that's on special, stuff that's pantry staples, just basically, yeah, unload for you all the stuff that I buy from the shop so that way I can drop some value and, um, yeah, show you some insights into what goes into my system because obviously now that I've finished competing, I've got more calories to play with, um, I'm a lot more flexible obviously because I'm not competing anymore, so, um, yeah, it means that there's a lot more exciting food going into my system and, um, yeah, so it's an exciting time to be alive and an exciting time for you to be able to view videos like this because you could be dieting, you could be bulking or whatever, but either way it's going to give you great insights into how you can make your relationship with food better, have more variety in your food choices and therefore just, yeah, appreciate food for what it is, which is life. So what I've got here is really just two bags full of gains we're going to be unpackaging them together and I'll be, um, yeah, giving you some insight into what each of these things are, you know, why I bought it, what it's good for, stuff like that and um, yeah hopefully you love it so make sure before we get stuck into it that if you're new to the channel um, that you uh, yeah press subscribe because you definitely don't want to miss out on a second of the action with uh, any future videos and um, please if you're a returning subscriber as well uh, make sure you like this video and comment below what your favorite place to shop at is for food is it cold is it woolies do you like going to a specialty store or do you shop online i'd love to know let us know in the comments below Essentially the reason why I bought this is because the calories and macros are that it's basically 168 calories, 6 grams of protein and 7 grams of dietary fiber. This is one whole serve, it's pretty fucking big as well. So 400 grams, 99% fat free, thought hey that would be awesome to just heat up and have as a soup by itself. Um, or even kind of just like as a, as a stock or a base for making like chili con carne or something like that. Um, I got this one special today. I haven't actually tried this juice before. This is black label, you'll see. So, just like old mate Maccas, um, you know, how they used to have that slogan, um, which was like a little bit fancy or whatever. So, this is apple and forest fruits, which should be pretty boss. Good carb source. So, I'll probably be having um, this in terms of like as a pre workout, maybe, alongside some um, actual pre workout or some black coffee for just getting those fast digesting carbs. Um, I got amongst this, which I've never actually tried before. This is um, here in Australia, obviously the vegan, the vegetarian scene is on the rise. Um, I got these burger patties, which are obviously plant-based. Um, really good macros these are as well. And each patty has actually got 12 grams of plant-based protein, which is pretty boss, because typically those sort of, um, you know, vegan and vegetarian patties don't really have too much else aside from carbs and fat and fiber. So it's good that this one has actually got a decent amount of protein, so I'm excited to be trying that. Um, Old Mate Legos, these guys here are kings of the pasta sauce game. Um, and obviously because I've been dieting and stuff like that, I haven't actually had a cream-based um, pasta sauce really of any kind because I can't justify the calories. I normally get tomato-based ones. So I'm so pumped to be able to use this alongside some protein pasta or whatever um, in terms of just keeping things fresh and trying different things. Um, I haven't actually tried this before. I saw this in special for a dollar. This is a, um, a chaya pot. 
Um, this here, as you can see, it's just like, uh, yeah, chai seeds and berries and that sort of thing. So pretty pumped for this. I'll probably use this as a, um, a fiber cap to try and make sure that my fiber's on point if I'm falling behind or have it with like, um, you know, as part of a smoothie or with some yogurt or whatever. Um, these here are pretty sick. I'll probably be having these as like, uh, you know, just keeping in the cupboard as like a snack or to put alongside some, um, some yogurt or whatever. This is the old yogurt cupboard. Um, dried cranberries, so 94 calories per 20 gram serving, so not too bad. These are $4.99. I got one for $1.30, so I'm pretty sure I bought a few packs for them. Um, so, far gain right there, boys and girls. Now, um, these here, these are pretty sick. Uh, I haven't had these in a while. These are like a great snack biscuit. Um, as you can see there, it's got, you know, um, I think this is, yeah, forest fruits flavored. So this is 172 calories per three biscuits. So, oh my days, that is fucking good when it comes to biscuits because biscuits are typically loaded. Um, this, this here I haven't actually ever had before. This is a new cereal um, in the old health aisle at Woolies. It's obviously uh, a cocoa-based cereal, so kind of like a healthier version of Cocoa Pops. Source of fiber, low in fat, gluten-free. Um, macros for this is that it's 137 calories per 35 grams. Um, and apparently it's a good source of fiber, even though it only has 0.7 grams per serving. So that's what we call fucked marketing right there. So anyway, it's gonna be good. I, I obviously won't be having a 35 gram serving because that's like a peasant serve in my opinion. <laughs> But um, yeah, it should be a good number less with some almond milk. Could have got another one of the old chai pots. Um, so I pretty much bought their last two that they had in the old uh, little clearance section bit. Another pack of the old Greek style um, suckers. Um, got some of these for 80 cents. This is the old Mexican style uh, bean mix. So this is something I'll probably use in like a salad. Um, like these are really nice in salads um, when you have them cold, believe it or not or I'll use it as part of like a chili con carne or something like that, maybe even with those plant-based burgers. Or some chickpeas, and the cool thing is about Woolworths is that uh, if you're not aware, even when these aren't on special, these are only 80 cents a can, which is crazy. Chickpeas are really, really versatile. I like to use them in salads, you can use them in baking, even on the channel as well. If you look in the recipes playlist, you'll see that there's um, a few different baking recipes and stuff like that. I think, I believe a couple of them I've actually used chickpeas to be able to make some pretty dope brownies, so check that out. Like coconut milk, because real coconut milk, full calorie stuff is just, you know, it doesn't taste any different to this. So save calories where you can. Like coconut milk, that stuff's awesome. I'll use that in curry, some smoothies, cooking, stuff like that. Um, I haven't actually tried this yogurt here before by Mandela. Um, I normally buy when I get yogurt, uh, the For Me yogurt by Yoplait, or I get the Kabani 0.5% yogurt. So this yogurt here, right, this has 109 calories per 200 grams. It's got 17 grams of protein and um, basically 0.4 grams of fat. So you can use Greek yogurt like this for so much different stuff. You can use it instead of sour cream uh, for when you make curry. You can use it in smoothies. You can have it with some stevia and some fruit and whatever with some protein powder for a really high protein dessert. It is so versatile. Like seriously, get on board that if you're not yet doing so. Okay, now next up we have uh, some dope wraps. I haven't actually tried these wraps before because they're normally $8. And who can justify paying eight dollars for some wraps just because it's got some seeds in it? So you'll see here. Um, there we go. Let me know in the comments below if you are someone who likes to have wraps. Um, I typically prefer like you know Helga's bread and having like sandwiches and stuff like that. But these are 100 uh, calories per wrap, so it's pretty boss. Not too bad. Uh, the fiber per wrap is 5.5, which is actually really good. Um, and depending on the texture of these, I could potentially use that as like a pizza base as well. We'll see. Now I've got some more canned goods, got some corn kernels. Obviously this is good for when you don't want to have to chop off the kernels of corn yourself. Really, really good for salad and adding to like, um, you know, just to kind of bulk up meaty dishes when you're having like, you know, bolognese or con carne type stuff. Got a big ass 
mother tin of sliced beetroot. Um, beetroot is amazing um, in terms of for its nutrients, but um, like it's seriously like <laughs> it's literally got only carbs like and fiber. It's um, well, I like to use that in salads. Personally, that's the reason why I usually get it. Um, or obviously, if you're buying them fresh or whatever, and you're roasting them, that's when it'll probably taste better. Same deal with sort of like pineapple. Um, I'm gonna be using this in salads um, just to add like that sweetness to it because I find that's really good for salad is that you've got a good contrast between, you know, sweet and savory, um, soft and crunchy, and that way it's just like a taste bud party in your mouth. You know, you got that good mix of all the good stuff going and therefore, well, that's what makes salad exciting. Um, got a couple of different dressings that I haven't tried before. So I've got this, I've been hanging out to get amongst this um, because, well, apparently it tastes like Big Mac sauce. Um, and the reason why I haven't gotten amongst it sooner is because, well, it's one and a half health stars. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty loaded with calories. So uh, if you're cutting, I probably wouldn't suggest getting amongst it because per 20 meals, it has 82 calories, which I cannot justify. But hey, given that I'm uh, not cutting anymore, hey, I'm keen to try it because apparently it tastes like Big Mac sauce. Got me some light aioli. Um, so in other words, well, what's the point in pumping calories into full fat aioli when you can get a lighter version? Makes sense, right? So use that in salads. Um, you know, obviously for like we get the picture, you know what to use aioli for. Um, I got this. You're, if you've been checking out some of my uh, salads on social, you know that I love putting avocado into salads so i thought hey let's get some guacamole given this was on the special pretty decent sized tub obviously you can use this as like a dip uh in my case i'll be using it in salad right um this has 77 kilojoules per 10 grams so that's about or 18 16 calories per serve so not too bad in terms of comparing to different other dips and that sort of thing um another bag of the old craisins because oh, I, I pretty much just bought all the ones they had left now, this here, right, this is gonna fucking blow your mind. If you're a fan of dumplings, right, check these out in Woolworths. I'm pretty sure they're a new product because I've never seen them before. It's by old mate, Mr. Chen. So per dumpling, so this box has got 15 dumplings in, right? Per dumpling, it has 22 calories. So 15 dumplings are in it, meaning that this whole shoot and caboodle would basically come in. Uh, where's my calculator? It'll work this out. So, yeah, for those of you who like to eat lots of stuff anyway, me, I love to eat lots of little things. So if we go 15 times by uh, 22, that's 330 calories for the whole box. Like seriously, what the actual fuck? So I got this flavor here, which is the chicken and mushroom. And then I got this other flavor here, which is pork and chive dumplings. So these are on special as well at Woolworths at the moment. Check them out in the old frozen section. Um, I haven't tried them before, so I can't vouch for them in terms of taste, but I'd imagine they would be pretty boss. Um, so I'll probably be cooking them in the air fryer. That's how I'll be doing it. Now we're on to bag number two. So if you're still with me at this point in the video and you've managed to last this whole bag, let me know in the comments below which of these things you love the most or that you're keen to buy and source yourself. Now, Bag two, let's get into it. So, we've got some actual avocados. I thought, hey, given they're on special, three of them, like in Australia at the moment, you can get avocados this size for about two to three dollars each. So I thought, hey, three for $4.40. That is a bargain, that is a win, get amongst it. Tomatoes, obviously really good for salads as well. Um, well, they're really versatile salad. I mean, so really versatile old mate tomatoes are. So I got these for a dollar a pack. Can you believe it that these retail for $4 a pack normally? Like, that's just ridiculous. That's just robbery. Um, in the fridge section at Woolworths, they've got all sorts of different salad gear and whatever. Um, I'm not salad, like pasta salad, potato salad, that sort of thing. So I got me this big, look at this, look how thick that is. That is of couscous salad right there, ha ha ha. So this apparently serves three, um, or in my case, I'll probably eat a whole one of these myself. They are so tasty. If you ever see them and they're on special, do yourself a favor and get amongst it. Now, next up we have uh, a salad bag. So this one here is the old superfood stir fry one. 
You can obviously use this as a stir fry, but I personally find that this is a great salad base. So in other words, you would literally in a bowl put a bag of this, and then you'd add some of these little things that I've spoken about in the video so far to kind of bulk it up a bit and to give it that extra sort of like contrast of sweet and savory and hard and soft and that sort of stuff. So that literally you're the sort of person who fucking loves salad as much as I do. Um, this here's another type of soup that I got. Remember how I showed you at the start of the video, I got one flavor. This one here is a chicken and chaya sweet corn one. Um, this one here is 140 calories for the entire thing. Um, and has four grams of fiber as well. So that's pretty, that's pretty sick. We've got another, another thing of salad. This one here is chicken pesto. Um, so this one here, typically, if you ever see anything pesto, it, um, you know, isn't gonna really be the most macro-friendly thing in the world, but it's probably gonna be the tastiest thing in the world. So while cutting, I haven't actually had any, um, you know, pasta salad or anything like that at all because I just can't justify the calories. So now that comps are done, um, you know what I mean? YOLO, kind of, <laughs> right? So I got another bag of this, um, the old salad mix. I got actually quite a few of them. Um, got this one here. This, this is the sort of one that actually comes with some sauce, I, I believe. No, nope, it's just washed and ready to use. But anyway, this one here is American style coleslaw. So once again, can be used as kind of like a, a base. Um, and you can just add other shit to it. Um, we'll put that there. Pretty sure I got two bags of that one. Yeah, the old American coleslaw again. Um, that one there is really nice. Um, Pan out for it out of 10. This one here is a different one that I got. This one here is a pesto um, veggies one. So it's obviously uh, very green, hence pesto. And it's got, you'll see here in the back, it's got like all sorts of different like kale and broccoli and some spinach and some onion. And it even comes with like a little, uh, it appears to have leaked, but the bag that has the sauce in it has leaked through the bottom, but it, that's one that has like the pesto shit in it. But no fear, all is good, I'll still eat that. And we've got another bag of salad. This one here is the uh, Simply Superfood Stir Fry. So remember that there's no such thing as super or good or bad food or whatever. There's just food that has different amounts of nutrients and macros and stuff like that. The beautiful thing about this game is that, well, yeah, when you live flexibly, you can choose what foods you utilize to meet your targets. So here we have some more tomatoes because remember how I said, these are literally $4 each, which is such a joke. It's like, you know, 200 grams of tomatoes. So a dollar each, can't complain there. And then last but not least, um, Old Mate Weight Watchers, which is a meal company in Australia. Um, they've got these new meals, which are pretty big, right? Um, they normally just charge $10 each, which isn't really too bad in the skin of things, but not something that I'm gonna pay for. Um, so I got these for $5.50 each, which is a fucking bargain. Um, I got this one here, which is a butter chicken flavor. This one here comes in at 15, 10 kilojoules, which means you gotta fuck around dividing by four. Um, I seriously don't know why they don't just fucking put calories like America onto the food labels or whatever. It would make life so much easier. But I got this one as well. This one here is Southern style uh, pulled pork. That's 1690 uh, kilojoules per one. And this one here has 40 grams of protein as well, which is fucking good. And the meal size of that is 400 grams, so it's not really too bad. And this one here is Perry Perry Chicken, which I'm also pretty excited to um, try. So yeah, um, we've got quite a few uh, different bargain items. Um, a pretty solid spread. And as you can see, like, just the passion in my voice, like I love food so much and it's not really too hard to be able to make, well, exciting shit from all sorts of different food sources. So if you're not enjoying uh, your relationship with food and you find that you're kind of like, you might, you might even be on like a boring as fuck meal plan or like, um, you know, finding yourself kind of going super duper hardcore clean and then binging at night time or binging on the weekends or whatever. Well, this shows that you've got some sort of lack um, or gap in your relationship with food. And um, yeah, for as long as that shit isn't sorted, you will struggle to get progress. So. Uh, if that's the case with you, what I'd encourage you to do, or even if you're just looking to learn more about flexible dieting in general, check out in the, um, the expanded section of this video where you can kind of expand it and it shows links and shit like that. 
like in the description. Um, there's a few different ebooks you can check out. Um, all of those are cheap, nice and easy to get amongst. Um, I highly recommend you check out one of them or you can join my free fat loss group as well for the food lovers and cardio haters. Or if you find that you kind of just, well, gel with me quite a bit and you love my zest and spin on things, um, click on one of the links and you'll actually be able to check out what my coaching is all about. Because believe it or not, I used to be a fat fucker who, um, <laughs> put nicely, like, was just like the, um, yeah, like I had a really shit relationship with food. I used to binge and just hate myself. There was a period of time where that was me. And um, yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. And if you go into the depths of this channel and look up some of my older videos, you'll see there's actually a video where I kind of break down some insight into my transformation and what I've gone through and how I used to be and stuff like that. But it's like, understand that food is fuel for performance, happiness, lifestyle, and pleasure. So it shouldn't be something that should be feared or worshipped or anything like that. Like you should just fucking love it and have it as a great fuel to be able to hit your goals, whether it's health goals or aesthetic goals or whatever. In my case, like it's been aesthetics for ages. Um, and yeah, now I'm moving forward into more performance and just health goals moving forward. So that way I'm kind of going to be, yeah, a bit more lenient and flexible with my food choices. Hence deciding to create this series called um, you know, the bar gains grocery hauls, so that way it just gives you more insight into the sort of stuff that you can be eating when it comes to, um, yeah, taking control over how you look, how you feel, and how you function. So it's been really fun um, unveiling all my bargains and the different things that I'm going to be eating over the week ahead. Um, please, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you press subscribe, turn the notifications on, especially if you love just seeing, yeah, insightful, evidence-based, and entertaining videos, I highly encourage you to, to um, yeah, to, to subscribe. And obviously, if you are a returning subscriber, make sure to like this video, I really love it, so that way I know that you guys are loving this sort of content, and um, comment below if you're keen on the idea of this new, um, you know, series. And um, especially the other one as well, the Cheat Yourself, I'm excited for that. And um, just having more fun with you guys and engaging with you all as we build a great community together. So thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you next time in the YouTube world. Peace.